So far, we've covered the similarities between notability and good notes, and seven ways good notes is better than notability. In this third part of the comparison series, we'll be going through seven reasons notability is better than good notes in 2022. For those of you wondering, our team's go to note taking app for personal and internal notes is Noteful. Hey guys, it's Rob Zipak with Paperless X a channel dedicated to maximizing your time and energy during your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Notability has a more minimalist user interface. It doesn't look as cluttered as good notes, especially with multiple tabs open. You also get themes in Notability that change your user interface, which you don't have in good notes. It's not a massive advantage to justify the app subscription, but it's pleasant to have. Notability also packs away its settings in one place, unlike in good notes. Though you can easily access many settings from your workspace in GoodNotes, it makes it feel like too much is going on in the app. GoodNotes can only save three pen sizes and three colors on the toolbar for easier access. Notability's pen tools are easier to access than those in GoodNotes. Yet, Notability still went a step further to add a favorites toolbar that can house up to 12 tools. This could be pens, highlighters, erasers, or lasso tools. It makes it even easier to quickly pick the tools you frequently use in Notability. The favorites toolbar is mobile. You can put it anywhere you want. When you love using a lot of tools, the favorites toolbar will help you work faster in Notability. The app also supports body text where you can directly type on the page or you can use text boxes. In GoodNotes, you're only limited to using text boxes. The body text in Notability is so impressive that when you use the app's basic page templates, it aligns with your line spacing even when you adjust it. Notability saves three favorite text styles, whereas GoodNotes only saves one text box style at a time. In Notability, you can create all kinds of lists, interactive, numbered, and unnumbered lists. The app even has hierarchy options to change the bullets or numbering when you indent your list items. The interactive list tool in Notability is the best we've seen in a note-taking app. The app checks off, dims, and strikes out your completed tasks. GoodNotes does not support lists of any kind. You can also customize the tools on your keyboard toolbar in Notability, another feature you don't have for your text tool in GoodNotes. In both applications, you can use custom fonts. You can also align your text in your text boxes. GoodNotes does more for your text boxes though. It has a wider range of line spacing options than you get in Notability of which Notability only has three. In GoodNotes, you can also do the following for your text boxes. You can change the background and border colors of the text box. You can determine the roundness of your corners, determine the border thickness and padding. You can add a shadow to the text box or save one text box style. Notability doesn't have borders for your text boxes and the only thing you can change is the background color 
or type. Though the app has limited text box styles, it does offer more text functions than GoodNotes. Both apps have continuous vertical and paged horizontal scrolling. Vertical scrolling in Notability is seamless. Pages look like a continuous canvas separated by a thin horizontal line. Your handwriting can even overlap between the pages, which looks good in the app, until you export your notes, of course. In GoodNotes, a small gap separates the pages in your notebook. Your handwriting thus can't overlap between your pages. Notability automatically adds a new page when you start writing on the last page in your notebook. While in GoodNotes, you have to add pages yourself. It's nothing to cry about though. Notability can add more items to your notes than GoodNotes. For both apps, you can add images, scans, stickers, and import documents. In Notability, you can then also add GIFs, and proper sticky notes. When you move your stickers, they move with your handwriting. So you don't have to move one at a time, which is the case with good notes. Notability has the most sophisticated audio recording tool we have seen in any note taking app. Audio recording syncs to your handwritten and typed notes. It has several playback options for your notes preview and the audio recording itself. For easy step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use the different features in these two apps, make sure you check out the user manuals on our website. We will have a link to our user guides in the description down below. Both apps can convert your handwriting to text. Notability converts your handwriting to 22 languages and GoodNotes to only 13. GoodNotes workflow for handwriting conversion is more cumbersome. It requires several steps, whereas in Notability, it only takes one. Notability also copies the font size and color for your conversion which GoodNotes does not. Notability also has math conversion that converts math and chemical equations into high resolution scalable images. You can edit any mistakes in these conversions with later code. GoodNotes does not have this feature. On average, a GoodNotes notebook with very few notes is about 33 megabytes in Notability, a notebook averages about 6 megabytes, which is 5 times less than what GoodNotes creates. When you have an iPad with a small storage, this matters a lot. Notability subscription makes us skeptical to recommend it to individual and users. Subscriptions work better for businesses, especially because there are a lot of note-taking apps that are a one-time purchase. GoodNotes is a better option for anyone who doesn't want to add a subscription to their monthly bill. And this brings us to the end of this three-part series. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe for similar content. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.